When people watch my videos, they're often surprised by how much I've traveled around China. I often get asked, where's my favorite place? Now that is a tough question. I've been blessed to travel far and wide, and to be honest, I feel like I've barely scratched the surface on what this nation has to offer. Looking at a map of China, I fear it would take me a whole lifetime to explore this huge country. And realistically, that might never be possible, because if 2020 has taught me one thing, it's that you should never take travel for granted. So from now on, I've decided to treat every trip as if it were my last. So it got me thinking, where is the one place in China that I must travel to? And who better to ask than my Chinese friends, colleagues, and you, the audience? So that's exactly what I've been doing, talking to the people that know this country best. And it's yielded some pretty surprising results. enough, the answer I get is never a famous landmark or a hidden away secluded spot. It's the place that year on year, people up and down the land, young and old, rich and poor, effectively make the pilgrimage to reach. China has kicked off its biggest annual travel season. Chunyun, the biggest annual human migration on the planet. They pile onto trains, buses and planes. They aren't afraid to spend an eternity on crowded highways or spend days sharing snacks with total strangers in crowded carriages or rickety buses. There is no length that they won't go to reach the place that might not always be pretty or charming, but is, well, home. You see, time and time again, the place that comes most highly recommended from my Chinese acquaintances isn't a tourist attraction or a historical site, but rather their hometown. I often receive comments recommending or even inviting me to visit people's hometowns, whether it's to try a tasty local dish or experience something personal to them. And sure, many people are desperate to leave their hometown at the age of 18 to find better work or education opportunities. But that doesn't mean that, in many ways, they don't spend the rest of their days pining after the simpler life they knew back home. That's why creators such as the now world-famous Lizzie Chi or my friend Miriam make such excellent videos that resonate so well with people. They understand the meaning of home and the nostalgia that comes with being an adult. That feeling of longing for a moment in childhood that perhaps never was. But every year during Spring Festival comes to life, at least for a short while. Which brings us back to the here and now. A lot of Chinese workers don't get a lot of vacation days, so understandably, every single person tries to take advantage of the annual public holiday, which marks the beginning of the Lunar New Year. Whether the journey takes two hours or two days, you had better believe that nobody is missing the chance to see their families, make dumplings and catch up with old friends. But like it or not, this year is different. And as cases of the dreaded thing that we do not speak about rise across the country, many people are going to have to put their plans on hold. Right now, the situation is ever changing and many of you might find a way to get back. But the reality is that many people will be stuck in pokey apartments or crowded dormitories, far from the place that they would like to be the most, home. And trust me, I know how that feels. For obvious reasons, we won't get to see our loved ones this year when it is probably what we need the most. But regardless of the circumstances, if we all do our bit, there will come a time when we will be reunited with our families once more. 
But I know that is of little comfort to you right now, so wherever you are and whatever your situation, then I'm going to ask you to do one simple thing. Leave us a comment below telling us where your hometown is and a memory that puts a smile on your face when you think of it. After the year we've had, the world needs some positivity and I know that reading your messages will cheer me up at least. I hope that you can get home to see your loved ones this spring festival, but if you can't, remember there will be others and this will all end soon. Thanks for watching. Happy New Year.